What is up guys? It is T3Collex and we have a figure review from DC Multiverse. This is the gold label McFarlane store exclusive The Joker interrogation scene from The Dark Knight. I got this this morning, early this morning at like 5.15. Um, I was taking out some trash. Mailman was walking away from my front door. Kind of scared me. Was not expecting to have a mailman that early. But that's what this was. So super excited. I actually forgot that I was getting this. So didn't even know it shipped. But here it is in all its glory. And I could tell you from <clears throat> first glance, it is pretty cool. I never got <clears throat> the Joker from the Dark Knight. Uh, it's, um... I'm trying to think, the Dark Knight trilogy, where they had Batman, the Joker, Scarecrow, that built Bane. Never got that, but <clears throat> I got this. No jacket. This is exactly what I wanted, and it looks really, really good. So we're going to take it out of the package and take a better look at it. But first, here it is in package. Here is the top, big old giant window. The Dark Knight Trilogy emblem on the top. On the side, you get the Joker interrogation room, The Dark Knight. On the back, you get a big, nice look at the Joker with the, uh, the playing card with Batman on it. The bottom right corner says The Dark Knight Trilogy. 22 moving parts, points of articulation. And the very bottom, you got barcode and like I said you can only get this on the McFarlandShop.com or McFarlandToys.com uh, link in bio if you want to grab it it is sold out but the only other way you can get it right now is with the uh, I believe it's the sonar Joker and the Bane I can't remember <clears throat> but yeah link down in description if you want to pick this up and those anyway so uh, let's go ahead and get this package open and take a look at the figure and the chair and everything else that's in it all right we got the joker and the table and chairs out of the package so this piece which is the dio ish looking piece it's just a cardboard insert for the packaging i actually took it out because i think it looks pretty cool that's what drew me to getting this was actually this whole setup but anyway uh let's kind of get into it so chair it's uh painted silver uh, I mean, it looks like a standard chair. It looks good. Table's good. Nice and uh, silver. All I'm to say, it's just the table. Then you got your Joker, which is handcuffed to the back of the chair. He does come off the chair. Um, first impressions, this is a... I mean, I don't know. I don't have the original one. I, Like I said, this is pretty cool. I like the Joker. Um... You know, you got your standard articulation. I think he looks good out of the uh, jacket that he comes with uh, in the Dark Knight trilogy uh, wave. <clears throat> the likeness to Heath Ledger, I feel like, might be a little better on this. Maybe? It's hard to tell. I feel like they did a little bit more paint deco to the face to give it more of that Heath Ledger look could be wrong you have to tell me if you have this leave a comment down below but I like the details to the actual sleeve of the arm just like in the uh, movie so they did a really good job of getting that down and then the vest looks great pants obviously look good the handcuffs not so great it looks like just uh, a gray plastic not like they didn't put really much detail on it. I really wish McFarlane would go back to adding um, like real chains and stuff. Like that would be cool if this was real, like chained uh, handcuffs. So these crappy looking, I don't know, plastic. And I don't know. You guys let me know. But overall, um, 
pretty impressed pretty cool pretty cool little setup so we could put joker back in the chair get him back in that chair get him to sit and there you go then you got your joker i may have not done that very well but overall i think it's a pretty cool set it's very cool to display, I can tell you that much. The, I'll be just putting this obviously all back and then just kind of displaying it <clears throat> as is. He does come with your standard DC base. You get the trading card, which is on the back of the package. So there you go. He comes with, it's really, really small. A phone, a little tiny phone, cell phone. So you can put that on there. And then he has obviously multiple hands. He's got that hand with a trigger hand, which still makes zero sense. The pointing finger hand. And then uh, I guess a flying hand? I don't know, but I do like the attention to detail as far as like getting it dirty. These look better than the normal hands that he gives any of his action figures that have flesh colored hands. So definitely a lot better than this, which I also got. I mean, this is freaking paler than pill. And I'm wondering These are the same hands. No, they're different. But yeah, like look how pale his hands are. Compared to these. I don't know. I think these look a lot better. Anyway, overall pretty cool set. Um, you can do all kinds of cool crime scene stuff it doesn't even have to be with joker you can use any of your action figures to do it with um i went and got my batman the dark knight batman from my batman ultimate movie collection out so then you can have batman in your dial if i can get him to stand up straight that'd be great but there you go you get batman and the joker in the interrogation room this is awesome I'm so glad I picked this up. I'm also glad that it showed up because I totally forgot about this. But overall, pretty good. I like it. Let me know if you guys have ordered it. Let me guys know what you think about this interrogation set. Is there anything else they could have done? Um, more to the set. <clears throat> Maybe uh, gave us you know, the money again. I don't know. You guys tell me. Leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, let me know if this is a pickup or pass. Did you pick it up? Did you pass on it? Are you going to pick up the McFarlane pack that they have this? And I think it's the Sonar, Batman, and the Bane. Can't remember. But I do remember it was like 67 bucks or something like that. Which isn't a bad deal. Just McFarlane shipping's really, really high. Um, but yeah, I think overall it's a pretty, really cool set. Figures are cool. I love that this Batman from the Ultimate Batman set looks good with it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Appreciate it. On the road to 1K subs. We're almost there. So make sure if you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, share this. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys are having fun collecting. And we'll see you next time. Peace. All right. Um... Thoughts on the Joker interrogation scene right here. So there it is in the box, back in the box. Um, overall, I'm um, a little disappointed, actually. I think the figure's great. Uh, the handcuffs, very disappointing. I like the chair and the tables. That's cool. The alternate hands are fine. The phone's fine. Um, for $39.99, I ex was expecting at least the walls, the diorama part to be plastic. I should have known better that it was going to be cardboard. I'm pretty sure 
they probably said it was cardboard, but I don't know. I ordered it because I was like, oh, that's awesome. Finally, a diorama piece for, you know, Batman. You can take all kinds of cool figure photography. Um, but yeah, that is the, probably the most disappointing part for 40 bucks. You're literally just getting the same Joker without a jacket, some handcuffs, some hands that came with him before, and two chairs and a table. So for me, um, disappointed. Am I glad to have it? Yes and no uh, for those reasons. But that is up for you guys to decide if you guys want to pick this up or pass on it. And I did look at the McFarland Toys uh, shop. Dot com. You do get him. You get the Jim Gordon as Batman and the. I think it's not the Gladiator Batman. It might be. I don't know. But that's you get. It's like sixty seven dollars and some change plus shipping. Um, but that that's what you get when you want to get this um, interrogation scene. But if you don't, I understand. Uh, you've seen the review. So anyway, again, I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribing. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'm very, very close to a thousand subs. And yeah, make sure you become a channel member as well. Great perks. You get a channel membership uh, t shirt when you hit a certain level, or if you subscribe at a certain level. And anytime there's live streams, make sure you hit those uh, super chats and stuff like that. Much appreciated because all that helps the channel grow. And the more that that happens, the. Um, more often I can go out and hunting in your town with you and document it and put it on YouTube. So yeah, thanks again. Thanks for support. Appreciate it. We'll see you guys later. Peace. Bitch, this I make all your hair like Michelangelo. I got my shirt off in this hole like I'm D'Angelo. Bitch, you got that wax shit in your playlist. This the antidote. My bitch is bad as fuck, got two kids sipping, yeah, she smoke This how I make all your hair like Michelangelo I got my shirt off in this hoe like I'm D'Angelo You got that whack shit in your playlist, this the antidote My bitch is bad as fuck, got two kids sipping, yeah, she smoke